Oh, hi! Didn't see you there. Hello there, my purple banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Glazed. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time, we took on Lance's subquest, as well as opened a couple of events that we will be taking care of later on. Now, I want to finish up Lance's subquest first, so we're back here in Goldenrod City. We're going to go ahead and enter the train station, which is where Lance told us we should meet up with him. So let's go ahead and make our way inside and see if we can find our dear old friend. Listen, we need to get to Mount Silver as fast as possible, okay? Well, I don't know for sure whether the tracks have even held up to Mount Silver, but I think I have some. Oh, glad you can make it here, Rodri. The conductor says he has something that can help us find Red. All right, come this way. Here she comes now. Well, w whatever works. Let's get to Mount Silver as fast as we can, Rodri. For all we know, Red could be seriously hurt. We can't go any further, but I think we're inside of Mount Silver, so let's go try and find Red. With that, ladies and gentlemen, we have officially made it to Mount Silver, and we are in search of Red. Now, we won't be battling Red yet, but we do have to find him, and we need to find a legendary Pokemon that is also going to be hiding here in Mount Silver. So let's go ahead and begin rock climbing. Make sure that you guys have Pokemon that are going to be able to use these moves, because it's something that you're definitely going to need. Also, once again, thank you guys for your likes, your comments. They're much appreciated. Make sure you guys give this video a like, as it really does help the series. Let's keep on running through here though we just gonna have to go deeper and deeper into this place i've been thinking a lot about this area too and it's definitely strange that mount silver kind of exploded on itself it seemed like such a peaceful area and now it just looks completely full of destruction and like something really really bad happened here so let's just hope that we can find red and that he'll be a-okay it would be a little bit scary if we couldn't find him but I think we will be able to. I think we're really close to it, too. This is looking just about right. It's starting to get a little bit hotter in here. If you guys have noticed, there's more and more lava. So just start thinking about what legendary Pokemon could be affecting that. Red, you're safe. You should have known that, Lance. It takes more than a volcano to kill me. Come. That's a Heatran. I'm sure it's the cause of the eruption. Who's there? I can see you, humans. This is, ah, ow! That's strong fire, Roger. You need to stop Heatran before it causes another eruption, okay? Here we go, Roger versus Heatran. So let's go ahead and take on Heatran. And yes, Heatran is the legendary Pokemon that we are going to be going after. So Lance's subquest does lead to Heatran as well as Red. So Red is going to be helping us go after another legendary Pokemon. But for now, this is the one we're going to be focusing on. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we have gone ahead and caught Heatran. So there we have it. The Lance subquest is officially complete. And we went ahead and caught the Lava Dome Pokemon. Pokemon. So let's go ahead and give this guy a nickname. I'm just going to go ahead and call it uh, something that I think fits its description. I thought it was quite funny because it just kind of fits in. I'm going to go ahead and call this Pokemon Spots if I could actually capitalize that first letter. So let me go ahead and type this name in once again. And I'm very happy that we caught this Heatran without too much trouble. So that'll actually allow us to go after a bunch more legendaries today. Thanks. I'm going to stick around here for now. Maybe we can battle soon. I knew it was a good plan to bring you along, Rodri. Ah, no, it's fine. Just a little burn. We better head back to Goldenrod and take care of yourself, Red. Ah! Thanks for coming with me, huh? I should have known Red would be fine. I've talked to the conductor. He'll let you visit Mount Silver whenever you want, at least until the train starts running. I better head home. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Ah, take care, Rodri. All right, see you later. With that, ladies and gentlemen, we are done here with Lance, and we are able to continue onward. So with that, let's go ahead and move on. Now, we are here in Serenity Isle, and it is in Serenity Isle that we are going to go ahead and obtain a couple items that are going to be helping us find a couple legendary Pokemon. Now, if you guys remember, we did actually learn about a bunch more legendaries that Team Fusion was going around and testing out things with. So, we also managed to obtain the Penthouse Key, and that is actually going to give us access to the Fusion Resort. Let's take this guy on. So it's here in the penthouse that we'll be able to find these items that we're looking for so we can go after a couple more legendary. But let's go ahead and keep this going. Oh, 
Okay, we're looking quite good. And we went ahead and found a Dragon Fang. That's actually really good. We could give that to one of our Dragon Pokemon. But the thing is, I'm pretty sure we can't really give this to any of the Pokemon that we have on us right now. I should have probably separated our dragons just a tiny bit more. As I can go ahead and show you guys, we don't really have anyone to give this Dragon Fang to. That's okay, though. So many battles, so little time. Okay, ooh, who's this guy over here? Let's talk to him. Michael dissolved Team Fusion, but we scientists have nowhere to go. It was here that we did experiments on the adamant, lustrous, and grisius orbs until Michael figured out a better way to summon the legendary trio. Hmm. So, the three orbs, and it looks like there are three Pokeballs right here. I know you! You're the kid that influenced Michael to dissolve Team Fusion! Oh, don't worry, I'm not mad. The engineers here don't know what to do anymore now that Team Fusion's gone. They don't have homes or anything. Those items on the table are Adamant, Lustrous, and Grisius Orbs. We never found out what they did to Legendary Trio. I can't think of someone more deserving of them than an esteemed trainer such as yourself. With that, guys, we're going to go ahead and obtain the Adamant Orb, the Lustrous Orb, and the Grisius Orb. And these orbs are going to be helping us catch a couple more Legendaries. So let's go ahead and make our way out of here now that we have all three. And let's go catch a couple more Legendary Pokemon. So we are actually right outside of Serenity Isle because we're going to go for a little bit of a ride. So we do need to surf right outside of Serenity Isle. So there's no point of, of us leaving this place. We're just going to go ahead and try to find where the legendary Pokemon is. Let's see if we can find where the cave is. I know that we're supposed to be headed this way. Now we just need to figure out where exactly it is that we need to go. Really? My repel didn't trigger there? Okay. I'm going to have to go ahead and activate that. I also really, really like the fact that we're going to have to go ahead and explore these little areas to find where these legendaries are. Now, it's going to be really cool because these are areas that we've never explored before. So I am just kind of swimming through this place, guys, hoping that I do find the right direction. The Gracious Orb is responding to something, and a cave entrance was revealed. That was right where we were going, too. So that was one of the most simple ones. Let's walk inside, then. And wow. Okay, so Giratina is up ahead. Let's talk to him. You were the child who stopped Michael from gaining control of Mew. I've seen the strength of your heart because of that. If you wish to capture me, you may do so now. Here we go, Rodri versus Giratina. So let's go ahead and take on Giratina then. And as you guys heard, Giratina has seen the strength of our heart. And that is actually very cool. I think it's awesome when Pokemon actually see that we're good trainers and that we're not trying to hurt them, that we're just trying to help them. Maybe just, you know, add a couple more Pokemon to our team, complete the Pokedex a little bit, and it's nice that they see that too. With that though, Giratina was caught. So very simple, a, a really simple catch there. And as you guys can tell now, we are going to be going after Giratina, Palkia, and Dialga. Those are what the three orbs are used for. So with that, we are going to go ahead and give Giratina a nickname. Now, it makes kind of a funny noise, so I thought this would be a pretty cool nickname for it. We're going to go ahead and call it Grrr, like the noise it makes. With that, we are done here with another legendary. So let's go ahead and make our way out of this place and make our way to the next location. Okay, so now we are at the Palm Tree Resort, and we're going to have to do a little more surfing. So these next two Pokemon, Dialga and Palkia, are just like Giratina, so they're hidden away in little caves that you have to find. So you just surf around in these areas, and hopefully the cave will appear to you. That's pretty much how it goes, and I just hope that the cave will appear for me. Oh! Wait. What? What? I... What? What is Aladius doing here? Uh... I did not expect this at all. I know that we can catch Latius and Latios. Hi, I'm Latius, don't you know? Hee, <laughs> do you want to battle me? Okay, let's battle. Hee, <laughs> hee. 
Here we go, Rodri versus Latius. So let's go ahead and take on Latius. Now, the thing about Latius and Latios is that they are randomly found around this whole map. And you can only be told where they are by the scientists in that one lab, if you guys remember. So he'll tell you where Latius and Latios are. But it seems like we just lucked out and we bumped into Latius. So with that, Latius was caught. I did not expect that. And it's actually really, really difficult to catch Latius and Latios because they aren't roaming in patches of grass. They're stationary, just like other Pokemon. So as you guys can see, we just kind of find them wherever they are. I wonder if we'll find Latios as we go continue on with legendary hunting. I'm going to call the Latius Oh Hi because I did not expect the Latius to be there. Now, I was actually not going after the Latius. That's the funny thing. So for those of you guys that were wondering if that's the legendary we came all the way out here for, that is not. We're in the spatial sea for the lustrous orb. And there we have it, guys. So the cave entrance has appeared. I hope you guys get as lucky as I did there because that just turned out really, really well. You gaze upon the ruler of space with no fear behind your eyes. Your courage is strong both when you save me and right now. If you wish to capture me, you may do so now. Here we go, Rodri versus another big, gigantic, legendary Pokemon that we should not even be able to come close to. We're going to take down Palkia as well. And I'm still a little bit in awe that we found Latias. That is very, very cool. I hope that we'll be able to find Latios as well in just as an easy you know way as we did the Latias, that would be really really cool with that though palkia has been caught so palkia the spatial pokemon it is huge it is 13 feet tall so you can just go ahead and take a wild guess that this guy would be pretty much a tower he would just be like looking down on you he'd be a mountain we're gonna call it space just because it kind of fits its description there so with that guys we've gone ahead and caught space and we are the space master now let's go ahead and make our way to the next area maybe we'll find latios okay so we're here in choco town so we can do a little more surfing now i haven't bumped into latios just yet but with our luck we might be able to find it now we do have to catch all these legendary pokemon in order to go and find Arceus for those of you that are wondering what this is leading up to so the reason I am catching these is so that we can catch Arceus who is a Pokemon that you don't see very often in games so when we do have the chance to see it it's something that I want to do and you do have to catch every single legendary Pokemon in this game in order to find Arceus with I believe the exception of Latios and Latias and maybe the legendary beast so other than that I think you have to catch pretty much every single Pokemon in this game in order to find Arceus. So that is what our main goal is going to be. With that, the Adamant Orb is responding as well. So I like how a Pokemon appears right as it opens up. Come on already. Let us just get inside of the cave. We're just trying to catch some legendaries. We're not trying to hurt them here, Tentacool. We're just being uh, real nice and friendly with them. So with that, let's go ahead and make our way inside. And we will be able... Ooh, what is this little place? There it is. Let's go ahead and talk to Dialga. I've seen all that has and all that there will be. Many more will try to threaten you, but your actions were not in vain. If you wish to capture me, do so now. Here we go, Rodri versus Dialga. So let's go ahead and challenge Dialga, the Lord of Time. And Dialga is level 50. I'm just going to go ahead and throw another Master Ball at it. Those are the pros of having a shop that sells Master Balls that you could just kind of relax and just, you know, throw your Pokeballs out there without too much worry. With that, though, we have gone ahead and caught Dialga. So, very nice. Dialga was caught, and I am A-OK -okay with that. Let's go ahead and give Dialga a nickname. Now, we already called Palkia the space Pokemon, so we're going to go ahead and give Dialga a nickname that I think will be quite fitting. We're going to go ahead and call this Pokemon time with that dialga is going to be named time and we're done here for today now we're gonna go ahead and make our way to one more area because there is still one more thing that i want us to do so i'll meet you guys back there so we started off here in gemini village today well not really i guess you could say we finished off here in gemini village yesterday and in today's episode we are going to be entering 
back inside of this mountain because we need to find another legendary Pokemon. Now, if you guys remember, we did catch the Reggie Trio last time. So we caught Reggie Ice, Reggie Rock, and Reggie Steel. And now that we've gone ahead and caught those three Pokemon, we can actually backtrack to the area that they were at and find Reggie Gigas. So yes, Reggie Gigas is also going to be located in this game. And that's another cool thing that I wanted to do. So that's why I went ahead and caught the Reggie Trio beforehand because I thought it would be really helpful to come back to Mount Stratus and go after Reggie Gigas. Enter. So let's go ahead and enter inside and we are in the cave of Reggie. Reggie Gigas looks quite intimidating, but let's go ahead and talk to it. You faced the golems I created with my own hands and defeated them, but will you manage the same with their master? We shall see now. Here we go, Roger versus Reggie Gigas. So let's go ahead and take on Reggie Gigas. Reggie Gigas is going to be level 50. Every time I see this Pokemon, it's definitely scary. Whenever you see this big guy just waiting for you there, just waiting to battle you in a cave, I gotta tell you guys, there's something about this legendary. With that though, we have gone ahead and caught Reggie Gigas, so very good. That's another legendary Pokemon added to our team. Let's go ahead and give this Reggie Gigas a nickname. It is 12 feet tall. I just like seeing how tall they are because I imagine it in my head. I don't know about you guys, but I've always just pictured the Pokemon standing next to me or what they would look like standing next to me I'm pretty close to being six feet tall. So I'm about 5'11 very borderline six feet So I just imagine these Pokemon standing next to me or how they would compare to me and it just gives me a good chuckle Every time I don't know why with that we went ahead and caught Reggie Gigas and it looks like we're done here for today Ladies and gentlemen, so we caught a bunch of legendary Pokemon now we still have a bunch of legendary Pokemon to go, so next time we'll continue catching all of Sinnoh's legendary Pokemon, and hopefully we can begin Hoenn. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to wrap things up here. Make sure you guys leave me some tips and comments on what's coming up. Make sure you guys give this video a like. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye!